Hi Outlet! Hope everyone is having a fabulous Sunday. I'm bringing you guys a special request video from my lovely friend who I consider a sister, Miss Jenny. She has a channel, it's called Craft Creation. You guys make sure you go over there and check her out. You're going to fall in love with her. So she wanted to know how I get the loop onto these bottles. She bought a few and she sends out happy mail all the time. So she wants to know how to get the loop onto the bottle if it's not already there and I will show you how to do that uh, Miss Jenny or anyone else who would like to learn. So I just made this one right before the video. I added some glitter onto this bottle. This bottle is a little big for, I, I usually make these for my Chunky Charm. So speaking of Chunky Charms, I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to put this on here because it's a little too big for a charm, but uh, I do use the smaller bottles where I get from the Dollar Tree, and I also get them from Wish. You could get them from your local craft store, but for this video purpose, this is just a little bigger one. I got three of these for 25 cents from the uh, Salvation Army, and I'm going to be using this to show you how I create something like this. So all I did was put the loop on, I added a chain with a butterfly, and I added this charm with the letter J, on here and you can actually put like twine around here you can put ribbon you can put flower you can add anything that you want inside of the bottle you can put little beads you can put flowers you can put little um, charms you could put glitter which I use glitter in this one but this is how the one I just made look so I'll show you exactly what you need to create something like this I do recommend that you glue the cork to the bottle because if someone is uh, you know hanging this off of like a charm you may want to use a smaller one for this if you're adding you know putting it on your your planner or your 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 keys or whatever you know use a smaller one because this is a little bulky you do need to glue this down because you don't want someone to accidentally pull this in your glitter or your marbles not marbles your beads get all over the place i have glitter like all in my nails that's what happens when you craft you get messy and i love it so here is how this one turned out and let me show you what you'll need to create something like this or your own personalized little um, bottle you can put a message in here i did one where i put a little message you can't actually open it but it's like i put some seashells and i put a little message on there that was the cutest one i've made but let's get right into how i actually do the loop so you'll need the bottle of course you need the one with the cork because that's where you're going to put the little loop on so you need the one with the cork to put the pins in so you need your bottle. I prefer getting plastic ones because these will break if you drop them and you know they could be dangerous. So um, do get, if you can, the plastic ones. The glass one is nice, but they could break and cause you to cut yourself. So you'll also need the pins. With, there's Angelo's hand. Say I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you my outlet. I love you, Alex. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me let me finish. Okay. So you'll need the pins, which is the head pins, which I do also like to use because it already has the loop. But that's okay. If you don't have the one with the with the loop already, you can use the head pin. You'll just have to cut off the uh, thing and make your own loop. So let's go ahead and get started with your tools. You're going to need a wire cutter. I don't know the tec technical technical names. I can't even say technical. I don't know the technical names for these products, but you'll need a cutter. You'll need a, I think you call these like a round nose pliers and your squeezy tool. So you're gonna need a squeezy tool to squeeze the links of your chain or your charm onto the loop. So you need these. You're going to need some glue. I'm using this B7000 glue that I got from Wish. You can use E6000. Um, I haven't tried it with hot glue because I think hot glue, glue just get everywhere. If you are using plastic bottles, do not use super glue. It'll fog up the inside of your bottle and ruin it. So use something like a strong glue to secure it, but don't use um, super glue if you're using plastic bottle. I found out the hard way. So you'll need that. You'll also need your stuff that you're putting inside the bottle, which I'm using some glitter, some silver and purple. And you're going to need some like beads and charms to make your, your links. So all I have a few product here. I have some purple beads, some um, jump rings, and just some charms. There's a sun and there's a moon. So this is what I'm gonna use to hang from the bottle. <clears throat> So what you do, you take your cork, 
And where is the cork? So you take your cork and you have to be gentle with this because they are very fragile and they could break. So you, when you're sticking your pin in here, you want to make sure that it is, uh, you're doing it gently, but uh, uh, putting pressure on it. So I'm going to actually cut this down because I don't need this much of a length to put this in here. So I'm going to cut this down. And I'm just going to like average. I'm just going to do half of this. So I'll cut this down. And then when you put it in here, you want to find the center. You want to find the center of your cork. Hopefully this is focusing. Let me move this stuff out of the way. So you want to find the center. Once you find the center, you're going to gently push it through with some pressure, but gently. So let's, let me go ahead and do that. It's very easy to do. Um, sometimes for me, because I do have RA, doing stuff like this does affect my hand, but this is not that tough. And you want to be careful. You want to try to get it in the middle, but it's okay if you don't get it in the middle like that. So once you get it through, gently push it all the way through. Now you have your loop on the top right here so there's your loop and now you have this part right here i'm going to cut this down some more because i'm going to make another loop on here to put it back into the uh into this so let me go ahead and put cut this down just a, a smidge like a this much all right i'm gonna cut that thank you and I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to make another loop to put into the cork again. So all I'm doing is twisting this down, please be gentle, and turn it until it touches the cork again and you're making another loop. So try to get, in, get it in a little bit into the cork, like that. So now you have a loop on the bottom and then you have a loop on the top like that put a little bit of glue on here you can use hot glue you can use you know your this glue if you do use this glue make sure it dries before you put it onto your uh, bottle but this that's all it is that's all you do is you just that's how you make your loop like that and when I do um, put so I made one here this is actually the cork that goes to that bottle um, so this is how when you're done this is how it looks I would put some glue around here and then stick this in here once I have my container filled with whatever I need. So you would just secure this in there like that. And that's it. You have your, it's not going anywhere. You have your loop. Now you can add whatever you want to, you know, this little container. Um, I don't know if I have time to do like all the other stuff that I wanted to do because I don't want this video to be too long so you're just gonna take some some glitter let me add some glitter on here <clears throat> here look Put at this pretty glitter. yeah pretty purple glitter I'm just gonna add a that's couple. pretty yeah thank you add some glitter on there he's on the paper yeah mm -hmm. and that's what happens when you work with glitter so I'm gonna put some purple glitter in there Is there and my nails yes. yeah it's on my nail it's from the Dollar Tree, if you guys were wondering. So here is some glitter in there. I'm going to add some. There's a circle. I'm going to add some. Um, let me put this because when Angelo was little, I, he came in. He went into my craft room and he got into my glitter and there was glitter everywhere. In the, in the carpet, yeah. you remember? In the carpet, just everywhere. So I have to really be careful with glitter because glitter and me are not good friends so here i'm gonna add some of the silver one okay and i got these glitter if you're wondering i got these glitter from um uh where did i get this from i got it from ross yeah it was a whole set of like or from wish no i didn't get this from wish <laughs> <laughs> um i actually got this from Oops, let me move this Oops. out of here. Um, I got this glitter from Ross. Yeah, it came like 10 in a pack, all different colors and shapes and sizes. And I just love this, the, the skinny glitter, the tiny glitter. Uh, where did the purple, the, okay. So my silver just disappeared, but you guys got, got the idea. The okay. right there. All right, so I'm going to put the thing on there. I'm going to shake this up a little bit because I want to see my silver glitter on here so here I 
Okay, so you can kind of see the silver on here. Kind of. A little bit. It's on your hands too. Yeah, it's all over my body. I'm going to look like I just came from... This is your body. Yeah. Okay, so here you go. I put some glitter on there. Let's. That's enough with the glitter. Now, I'm going to put some of this charm together for you so you could see how it looks. So, here are my... So, you'll, you'll glue that before you add anything to it. So, where did my pins go? All right. So, all you do when you want to make a charm is you go ahead and you put a tiny bead to hold this. Um, if it's a flat head, so your bead don't fall through. So you put a tiny bead, which I have one right here. So I'm gonna put this little heart on here. So there's a heart. I'm going to go ahead and put this a heart. bead on here like that. And let's go ahead and put a purple one and another one like this. So here is a little charm and I'll put one more of the heart. There's my charm. I'm going to cut this down and make a loop. Like that. And make a loop. Just turn it. And make a loop. There you go. You have a loop now. Okay. And then you take one of your jump rings. You open it up. I'm just going to use my finger, open it up like that, put it through the loop like that, and then hang it from the loop that you just made on your bottle like that. And that squeeze cool. it in. Yeah, that's cool, Angelo. And there you go. Now you have a little charm on to your bottle. See how simple that was? And I'm going to actually oh, add, simple. yeah, I'm going to actually add this little moon charm. So I take a, another jump ring. Another one? Yeah, another one. And open it up like that. And I'm going to also use the little moon char, charm. Put that in there like that. Put that in here like that. So I have the sun and the moon. And I'm just going to add this to the loop or I could add it to I'm gonna actually add it to this right that's here. actually cool yeah this is very cool. perfect thank you all right so there we go all right guys so here is the finished product and I have glitter everywhere but here is just something that I just put together really fast so you could see how the loop is made and how you could add your stuff on there so Miss Jenny, I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know if anyone would like to see anything, um, would like to request for me to do anything. If I have the time, I will definitely bring it for you. But here is how the silver one turned out, and here is how the gold one looks. You know, and you again can add anything that your little heart desires. So say for instance, I have these flowers that come on this wire here. Let me just take this out. I'll take show that you. Out. Yeah. Um, you could just wrap this around here if you wanted to add. Like if you didn't even want to add anything to your bottle, you can just add the flower on here like that. This flower might be a little big, but just like that. And now you have a view. Maybe even you could just, you know, cut that um, extra thing off. I know how to cut it. Yeah, I know you do. But look, so you have something like this. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks to you for watching so thanks much. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please subscribe, like, and comment. Comment and, down below. Yes, and I will see my fabulous, lovely, wonderful outlets, uh, you know, pretty soon. Next Bye. week, I'm going to New Bye. Orleans, so I may not be able to bring a video. We're, I'm going for a dental convention, so um, hopefully I'll be able to do a video before I leave. Or maybe I can vlog while I'm down there. I don't really vlog. I don't even know how to do that. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something today. I and love you. <laughs> they love you too, Angelo. So bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Sending my love to all of you. Bye.